Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're in the world. And welcome back to day four of Spud Week, Jack Potato Week. Uh, myself and Rob from Bramall Does um, are doing this collab this week of different Jack Potatoes with different toppings and things. And uh, I actually told my sister that I was doing this, and she said, please, please do one on frozen Jack Potatoes. Um, I've never actually had frozen jack potatoes, um, well not knowingly anyway, um, but she apparently swears by them, um, she has them all the time, so I thought, well, why not, why not give it a go, um, so I've been and I've picked up some McCain's, um, jack potatoes, uh, lovingly slow baked, um, ready in five minutes. Yeah, so I thought, why not give these a go? Um, they look interesting. Um, I'm not really sure what they're going to turn out like, but never mind. Uh, let's just get them in the right wave. Now, description on the back. Actually, you know what? Let me turn these around and let's have a look at this together. Okay, now that I've actually managed to finally turn you around, um, that was a struggle, wasn't it? Um, so it says how to cook. Um, here's how to cook one of four McCain jackets. Uh, cook in a different amount, adjust the cooking time accordingly. Uh, get best results, cook from frozen, which is exactly what we're going to do. Um, in the oven, uh, preheat the oven to 222.10. Um, gas mark 7. Place your jackets in 45 to 55 minutes. Um, we're not going to do that. Um, I've already done an oven baked one earlier in the week. Um, I've also done one earlier in the week in the microwave, um, but of course that wasn't frozen. Um, so in the microwave, remove from the carton and place your jackets in a microwave oven. Cook on full power and shoot jack potatoes piping hot throughout before eating. So recommended cooking times. Um, I've got an 800 watt uh, microwave, so I'll be looking at around the category E. Um, so it's got one is four and a half minutes, two, seven minutes, three, eleven, four, fifteen. Um, leave it to stand for two minutes. Yeah, it's kind of pretty straightforward. A little bit there. Regenerative agriculture. Happy days. Doesn't really mean anything to the majority of people. Um, but yeah, uh, I suppose there's only one thing to do. Let's get these in the microwave. I don't know if I'm going to have one or two yet. Um, depends on the size. The box feels quite hefty. So, yeah. Let's get them to the microwave. So, okay folks. Let's get into this box. Let's see how big they are first. Um, they're quite small, aren't they? Let's face it. Actually, let's get the other two out as well. Let's see what we're playing with. Yeah, so they're quite diddy. Um, that one's already split open. Um, so actually what I'm going to do I'm going to be a bit greedy. I'm going to take the two bigger ones. Um, I'll actually give them to my sister, those ones. So I'll pop them back in the freezer. Um, I did notice there as I was taking out that it already says it's drizzled with vegetable oil. Um, so I don't need to oil them or do anything about them. Uh, which is pretty good. And there's the uh, nutrition there if anyone's interested in it. But, yeah, so, let's get them in then. I might work for seven minutes. Um, so, two go straight in. I'm just going to use the plate that's in there. Um, might work. Seven minutes. And, jobs are gone. I think this one's actually going to be the easiest and quickest one of the week. Um, but I suppose 
frozen jack and potatoes are there for convenience on the so yeah um only thing for me to do is just put some salad on my plate with a bit of coleslaw and wait for these to do um i am going to be serving these um again going on that convenience type of thing um with some four cheese and onion deli filler this is out of aldi um and i just thought it'd be nice quick simple um people could even take these to work and do it um without the need of using microwaves and jugs for beans and the likes um, but I thought I'd give this one a try um, keeping on the cheese theme throughout the week but of course you can use um, tuna um, coronation chicken I think they've got so yeah chicken and bacon chicken and bacon um, is coming tomorrow so keep an eye out for that one but yeah anyway enough of me waffling on let me get these back in the freezer let's get plated up and let's get ready to rumble okay folks um, as you can probably see there there's very little time left on the jackets as we can see there, right on cue. Um, as you can see on my plate, I've got some coleslaw and a bit of salad. So let's just get these out. Get them on the plate. Well, they feel soft enough. Actually, a lot bigger than I thought on the plate. So if I just move that across, move it up there. As you can see, there they are on the plate. I will move you down slightly. Let's see if I can do that without too much issue. There we have it. Now all we're going to do is just open up. Those little um, slits in there. So obviously these were already cross marked. So all we're going to do is kind of just just help open them a little bit. Can't even see it on this one. You know what? Let's just go down. Like I said, they, they feel soft enough, uh, especially this one here. Um, so the smaller one of the two is definitely a lot more fluffier, I would say. But we just open them up. I know I'm making a little bit of a hash of this, but these are red hot. They've just come out the microwave. Um, <laughs> So all we're going to do now is just top it with our deli filler, um, our three cheese and onion. I think there's already enough calories on the plate without adding butter to the turkey. I know, that's pretty sacrilege. But I still am trying to eat healthy. Despite all these videos. So I reckon that's it. Um, that's the finished product. I think it looks great. Um, perfect lunch size. Um, probably could have just done with one tea to be honest. But hey, we're not all perfect are we? Anyway, let's give you a closer look and let's get into the review. Okay folks, so what do you make of that? 
I think it looks all right. Um, as I said, looks pretty tasty. If there's some little racket in the background, um, that's Peanut. Um, Peanut is the rescue kit I got that really likes to bite my fingers. Um, he's currently sat in a plastic box playing with himself. Not in that way. Um, get your brain out the gutter. Um, yeah, he's currently just having the best time of his life in a plastic box. Um, what is not to like? So anyway, um, I'm going to go in there for some of the jacket. Um, I have just cut in to it and it just fell away straight away. So I take it there pretty much cooked all the way through. So cheers folks. Hmm. Yeah. That is good. The tasty quality um, is actually pretty good. Um, the potato itself, so the skin has a little texture to it. It's not super crunchy, but it's it's all right. Um, the actual potato itself is really fluffy and light. They are not bad at all. They are really not bad. Um, yeah, the filling on top uh, is is okay. A um, little bit, could you say a little bit cheesy with the three cheese? Um, but it's a cheesy in a way that is, it feels rather processed cheese, to be honest. But it was cheap. So, can't complain at that. But yeah, this is kind of a very nice, easy, affordable lunch idea. Um, let's go in there with a little bit of the salad. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to be spot on all the time, then it's worth getting. Um... If they're going to be hit and miss, I don't know about the other brands. Um, I know I've seen some in Aldi and did they do them in the Lidl, I think. They probably all do them. Um, I've just never looked for frozen jacket spuds. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, to tell you the truth. But that brings us really to... Um, you know, one day left. There we just go, there's a little bit of that skin there. Yeah, so one day left, one spud left. Um, I'm gonna do a chicken and bacon um, in a white sauce. Get it nice and creamy, pour it over the top. Again, serve it with salt and coleslaw. That's kind of my go-to thing with jacket spuds. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. It's just biting my ankle. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, um, I will see you on tomorrow's video. Thank you very much for watching all the way through and all the way up to now. Um, we are now up to 340 subscribers, so thank you all very, very much for that. Um, that is much appreciated. And, yeah, I will see you on tomorrow's video. I'm going to go and eat this. So, until then... Adiós.